We were talking about expectations. You know, we're really young, um, but we as a program always have high expectations. We want to finish in the top of the league. We want to position ourselves to win a MAC championship, and obviously we want to make it to the NCAA tournament. Um, but again, we have a lot of new faces in our program. So right now we're, we're trying to focus on the day-to-day -day and making sure that we're picking up the things that they need to do at a different pace now that they're at the college level that they need to do um, that they're not really used to. Um, so those expectations are to, to get better every single day, to lock into each other, to buy into our standard, especially defensively, um, because there's a lot of changes for them that they haven't you know, experienced to this point. Um, but again, we're always going to expect to, to compete, to be at the top of the league and, and to have an opportunity to play in March. Lex has been great. Lex has been a great program player. She understands her role. Um, she understands how her role has changed over the past couple of years um, from her freshman year to her sophomore year. And obviously we expect her to go out and have a, a ton of offensive output um, for us. But you know, one of the big things that we've challenged Lex with in the postseason, in the offseason, is to really get better defensively um, and to really make her mark on that end and to help lead us in that regard. Um, I think someone who's going to be on the floor a lot for us um, has to really make an impact defensively, and she understands the, the expectations that we have from her for that this year. Oh, it's absolutely tough to, to replace a Marina Lazarazu. Uh, and I don't think you do that with one player. You do it kind of do it by committee. Um, we will be very different this year. Um, she was a point guard who could really score it, uh, who could really create her own shot, who, you know, won the ball in her hands 95% of the game. And I think we have, we're a little bit more dynamic. We have a lot more talent in a lot different spots. Um, so where we have a freshman point guard coming in and Adrian DeJoya and looking for her to help run the show, I think we have different pieces around her where we'll be able to move the ball a lot better and find different opportunities, different scoring opportunities, different options out of that. So, you know, it won't be a, a come in and, and give the ball to a point guard type of situation where it has been the past couple of years with her. Um, you gain that trust. And when you're in a program for that long and you've had it, you know, you, you give her the ball and you let her go. I think that we can be very different where we have a chance to have a lot of other people um, do a lot of things on the court. We're hoping for a lot from quite a few people. I mean, you know, Tori played extremely well um, coming in and, and being a huge piece as a freshman and, and playing a lot of minutes. I think she surprised herself in the first game of her freshman year where she played maybe 37 minutes in that first game, um, hoping to kind of get away from that and, and to spread the minutes across quite a few people because I think each of them have a special talent. Each of them have something that they can give and if we can buy into that team concept of moving the ball and, and getting more people into double figures, we're going to be really special. Um, so, you know, Tori, I think, is going to help us a ton offensively. I think Trey is playing at a very, very high level. Um, when we went up to Canada this summer, she really, it, it, she really turned it on um, offensively, where she's always thought of herself as a defender in the program. Um, she really understands now that we need her to, to be more of an offensive presence. Um, and then you have, you know, X factors. Any of them could be Ashley Martin, um, who didn't really get a a good go last year with the injury that she had and coming back late in the season. Um, she is very good with the ball in her hands. She's very good off the ball with, with cutting and moving and allowing opportunities for other people. So, you know, I, I couldn't really pinpoint one person and say this is the kid who's going to step up for us. I think everybody shows something different each day. Um, I would be remiss if I don't mention Talaysha Oki, who got herself in incredible shape this summer. Um, she struggled as a freshman. She, she didn't make sprint times, and, and now she's leading everybody in sprints, and she's knocking down three-point shots. So it, it's very open. Everybody has a shot to, to start. Everybody has a shot to give something, and I think that they're really excited about that. They're really competitive, and I'm excited to see who sets themselves apart. You know, we always want to schedule a tough non-conference to prepare us for MAC play. Um, we always want to go out and challenge ourselves early and make sure that we're not, uh, we truly understand who we are and that we establish our standard early, um, lock into it, and are able to carry it through to conference play. Um, we have a tough one this year, you know, headed to Arizona right away, down to Jacksonville on a very long trip um, with, a lot of, with a lot of young faces who haven't seen that opportunity yet. Uh, every team that we have in our non-conference schedule has been successful in the past couple of years with a lot of wins, with NCAA tournament peer appearances or WNIT appearances, um, a lot of experience on their rosters. So, you know, again, I'm, I'm proud of the way we put together our non-conference schedule to really test us and to prepare us for the conference play.